The following video is not endorsed by Dutch Springs. And welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be heading back to Dutch Springs in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the place where I did my first ever open water dives at when I was getting certified as a scuba diver and this video is also very special as it celebrates my channel's fifth anniversary here on YouTube. This video was originally meant to be a follow up to episodes 2, 5, 10, and 12 of my adventures at both the Travel and Adventure Show and Beneath the Sea but had to be scrapped due to the events going on in the world and Beneath the Sea was canceled this year. I will do a follow-up video of these conventions in the future once things get better and are safe to do once again. I also was originally meant to go scuba diving with Dive Cart back in July for their adaptive scuba summer camp in Key Largo as one of their ambassadors. Due to the same reason why the conventions were canceled, the trip also met the same fate. Hopefully in 2021, I'll be able to do both the conventions and the Dive Cart trip. In the meantime, I look forward to taking you all with me back to Dutch Springs as a lot of things have changed in the 14 years since I was last diving there, especially the plane, which is one of the things I will visit during my trip there. And of course, my friend Jesse Fredlin, who I give a shout out to, got to dive the plane herself when she was up at Dutch Springs around this time a year ago with our friends from Philadelphia, who I also give a shout out to when she was getting certified to scuba dive. I'll be sure to post the link to her video from the dive she did of this amazing wreck if you want to see it from her point of view. I'll be joined by Antoinette Levitt or Tony for short, one of my friends from the Adventure Aquarium, her daughter and her friend and my dive buddy for this trip, Jose. And there will be no interviews for this video this time due to restrictions caused by the events going on in the world. They will return hopefully in the next episode. On a sad note, I also dedicate this video in memory of my pal Philip Spencer who I met during my first trip to Cozumel with Dive Heart back in 2016 who sadly passed away earlier this year at the age of 40 and those lost during these dark times caused by the events going on in the world. For my trip, I'll be doing a total of three dives, the plane being the first, the second being the wall dive, and I might go back to the school bus and cabin cruisers, which I last seen up there back in 2006 as my third dive, possibly. So let's go back to Dutch Springs and go scuba diving! And today is the day we go back to Dutch Springs for the first time in 14 years and see what has changed in the quarry since I last got certified. And we finally made it to Dutch Springs, everyone. Stay tuned as I will take you underwater in the quarry. As you see here, 
during the first dive I did with Tony, her daughter Lori, and Lori's boy- boyfriend Jose. Things were going good until one point in this in this clip as something went wrong with my camera and you will know why at the end of this clip. I had an amazing dive, but unfortunately I was not able to film the rest of it nor the other two dives I do during the trip. Despite that, it felt good to be back underwater and of course for the rest of this video, I give you a dry land tour of Dutch Springs at the surface. And I leave you with this beautiful track by Kevin McLeod, set to the beautiful underwater serenity of Dutch Springs. Well, the first dive was good, but I had bad news. My camera had it, and now I have to get a replacement. So, in the meantime, I'll just film some dry land footage for this documentary and be able to salvage what I was able to shoot before it got flooded. In the words of Dive Heart, despite the little disaster I had with um, my camera, we adapt. As you see here, I have give you a brief tour of the entrance into the cove on the student side of Dutch Springs. And you'll see the three smokestacks up there. And of course, this little dock right there is for staff only. And of course, this is how myself and everyone I dove with got in and out of the water on this little platform right here and of course the water was cold that day but in the end I still had fun back to your normally scheduled programming the next dive I'll be heading down to the Challenger 600 plane and of course I'll be joined by Dive Safety Officer Pat McLaughlin from the Adventure Aquarium for this dive. Stay tuned as I'll bring a recap of that dive here. Well, I finally completed my second dive and I got to go down to the Challenger and I got to go inside of it, which of course, next time I'll be able to bring you a video of my experience at the Challenger. And of course, not only did we do that, I also got to see a van. I also got to see the platforms. Got to even go inside the Challenger, thanks to Pat. And I got one more dive, and then we wrap up this video. Here's my tour of the rest of Dutch Springs. Of course, I walked from the student side all the way to the peninsula side. There's the three smokestacks in the background and of course over on the peninsula side it's where I actually did my own certification dives at back in 2006 when I was beginning my journey as a paddy open water scuba diver. The walk from the student side to the peninsula side takes about five to ten minutes to do and of course during this tour, which makes up for the lack of me doing my underwater videos, will show you what it's like. And of course, the serenity and beauty of everything. Right here we have the campground. Of course, because of what's going on in the world, only instructors are, are allowed to camp, not people who are 
there for the weekend, whether they're diving or not, or students are allowed to camp there, sadly. Hopefully, next year things will be better and we'll be able to do things like that, to even mermaiding, going to the aqua park and the high ropes course, which are also part of Dutch Springs, besides scuba diving. But in the end, this was a beautiful tour of this part of Dutch Springs. Well, we close this video out by saying, despite the hiccup with the camera getting ruined, hopefully in the next video I'll have a new camera and it will be working. And the next time I come back here, I will be able to finally film those wrecks. Because during dive two, I finally got to go inside the plane and also got to see some boats. I even got to see a van. And dive number three, me and Lori, Tony's daughter, we got to play around the pump house, and it was a lot of fun. Felt so good to finally be back up here at Dutch Springs. And I'll be back here again in the future. This is Lewis saying, thanks for watching, everyone. You can fo also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, when going outside, wear a mask, practice social distancing, wash your hands, or use hand sanitizer and stay healthy and stay safe.